Hey guys, it's Bria and a welcome to my channel. Um, so I don't have a ton of time um, right now, um, but I do want to take you guys on a little trip. It's going to be a vlog um, today. Um, I have some errands to run and I'll kind of explain more about what I'm doing later. But right now, for those of you who have seen my previous video, I do want to go ahead and give you an update about my job situation. So... Um, so let's start off here. Good news. So I was offered, um, a job at, um, a year round lodge in Whitefish, which is like 40 minutes up the road. It's with the company. I think I, I did mention this job. Um, it's with the company that I currently work for. It was pretty much my like best chance of actually getting a managerial front desk position. Um, so I... It's weird. This is. I did apply for the front desk manager position. I really thought I was going to get it. Um, I did two interviews. One in person went really well. They said it went well. Like it went well. I, objectively, I can stand back and say it went well. Could have been. It could have been better, but it went well. Um, my direct supervisor, which is the property manager for this location. Um, speaks highly of me so they had that to go off of I've worked with them over this summer like with this company so I have rapport with them and I just thought you know if I was gonna get the front desk manager position anywhere it would be with them um, and their front desk manager position has been vacant since July it's October so I just assumed that yeah they give me a chance um, even though their biggest um, hesitancy was that my property here is a lot smaller than theirs. I've worked at places far bigger than theirs, but I've only managed here at this small lodge. And so like that was their big issue when the general manager called me two days ago. She was like, you know, my only concern is just that I don't want you to be overwhelmed and da 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 da. So she instead offered me the assistant front desk manager position and I, I don't want to come off like I'm ungrateful or not happy about that because I very much am and I do appreciate everyone's comments on that last video um, because I did realize that um, for the most part I was going to need more experience probably in like a seasonal manager position to be able to snag like a year-round manager position anywhere um I just don't have enough experience uh, uh just how it works um so I, I'm very grateful that they even offered me this assistant front desk manager position uh, but things are a little fishy it's a little fishy because um am I looking in the camera because the position don't exist it doesn't exist so on their website and I'm not trying to get into conspiracy here what time is it okay I'm not trying to get into conspiracy here but that position is not listed on their career website it's not there you see the front desk manager position and front desk agent position assistant front desk manager is not listed anywhere there so I'm like I feel like y'all made this up I didn't do the best job of explaining this, but basically, even with the job not being on the career website, I more so just had a gut feeling that this was something new, um, and like the position had not been a position that they had ever had or hired anyone for, and I was I was right. Um, my manager ended up coming up and telling me that um, the manager of the lodge I'm going to work at confirm that this is a new position which is why it took them a while to get back to me and you know I don't know if that means that the position was something they were working on creating before I applied or if me applying kind of prompted them to create this position I don't know I'm choosing to think that you know this is just working in my favor um and I'm just moving on with it and trying to be positive and the problem is there is no front desk manager. So who am I assisting? Who am I assisting? Myself. I would be, I would basically be the front desk manager without the front desk manager pay because I was really wanting that front desk manager pay. It's like 52 a year, 52,000 a year. 
And they offered me assistant front desk manager, assisting no one for $20 an hour. And I was like, right now we're negotiating because I asked for more money than that. But I'm like, I would basically be the front desk manager, wouldn't I though? So, I don't know. So I think I, I wanna make sure I note that me and my sister have talked this through and we've come to the conclusion that it's very likely that this is gonna be me having to go and improve myself, that I am capable of being a front desk manager and that hopefully it would, you know, signal to them that I, I can be promoted up. Um, and especially if they still don't end up finding a front desk manager, I think I'll just like make sure I go in there, cross my teeth, dot my eyes, and then, you know, ask for that promotion when it feels right. And even when I told my property manager here, she gave me this look like she she was obviously not impressed by that. Um, of course, the conversation then becomes, oh, well, there's room to grow and da 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 I'm like, yeah, I get it. Kathy, I get it. Her name's not Kathy. I just made that up. But yeah, that's the scenario. And it's not like I'm not willing to accept it. I, I am willing to accept it because... Honestly, I don't want to have to drive anywhere, but I have to go. Um, I'll explain once I get in the car, like where we're going. I mean, I, I put something in the title. What did I put? I don't know. I ain't decided yet, but there's something there to help you figure it, it out. All right, my glasses are dirty. Cut it up. Oh God, if this isn't a sign that it's getting cold here, I don't know what is. There's already frost on the windshield. There's frost on the windshield. Oh my God. I am going to be headed to a bakery. One of the best bakeries, I swear, in Calisville, Montana. Um, so we're going to go there. Um, it's like 1030. I should have been gone a long time ago. Um, so we're going to go there. And then we're going to walk up the street to um, this place that has uh, macarons macarons i always hesitate to say that macarons you know these things um because i have to do final evaluations for the front desk staff and i have decided to buy them all macarons as like a little treat like thank you for getting through the season with me um here's your treat you know that type of thing and then um i woke up today and i really wanted some chinese food but i have no knowledge of a Chinese place. So we're going to look up a Chinese place. Maintenance guy's walking behind me like, what is she doing? Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty cold <laughs> right now. Um, yeah, hopefully we can find a nice Chinese place. just now made it into Kalispell and it is 1130 and I had not planned to get here this late. It's kind of sad. Um, I seem to not be able to wake up early to do anything. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys don't mind. I am pretty low energy these days. Um, there's just a lot going on. We're closing up the property. Um, and I have to do evaluations, final evaluations for my staff. Part of my, um, offer for the next place I'm going to that's in Whitefish um, is that I'll be getting transitional housing um, so that I can have a place to stay in the winter while I find somewhere around town to be at. Um, and I haven't gotten the keys for that new place yet. I haven't gotten any information about when I'll get those keys. And so I'm kind of like stressed because I'm like pushing them to like, hey, I need this. I need this so that I have a place to stay in a four, in like four days. Um, so that's on my mind right now. And I'm just kind of low energy and I'm tired and I have a lot of things on my mind. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to get on camera and feign like I'm just like high energy and things are great because like, what the heck? Like, anybody got time for all that faking it? So, yeah. Um, but we are going to go to this cafe and I, mm, I hope they have some goodies because it's 1130 and I'm sure, um, I'm sure 
they had a lot of foot traffic this morning, even though it's like Thursday morning. Uh, yeah. So yeah, let's go. Let's go. I can never remember what this pastry is called, even though I've had it like three, four times already. But it's some sort of like um, croissant flaky bread with pesto. I think that's like ricotta cheese and then these like tomatoes. It's so good, like warm or cold, it's the best. I honestly have no idea what this one is. It's my first time having it. Um, I think it's like huckleberry and cream cheese. Again, the bread on any and all of their pastries are phenomenal. So this one was good too. I had this one later. little shops so <laughs> I low-key thought that I was about to bear witness to an MLM like pitch <laughs> God. this lady in the booth next to me she was like are you ready to make some money and I was like oh no <laughs> but um it's totally not that it's something else entirely which thank god <laughs> Okay, so this is the most interesting idea I've seen. Um, so this is a like arts and antique gift shop called Sassafras. But in the back is this bakery called Ephemera. E-P-H-E-M-E-R-A, Ephemera Bakery. And they have some lovely macarons and they also have like cakes and stuff. Um, but yeah, a very interesting combination. Oh wow, that is so pretty. So cute. I will buy anything that's not nailed down. But this is adorable. Isn't this pretty? All those little plates like this, little trinket plates. Oh, so cute. I mean, y'all like this? I think it's cute. I think I just knocked down these people's frames. They were one first dollar. I'm sorry. I don't know where this went. Do you work here? 
I'm sorry. I think I just knocked down your frame. Oh. It, it was on the floor. <laughs> yeah, welcome. So, I was looking for a Chinese place, but I don't think I'm gonna find like that great of a place. And I'm kind of like worried that I'm just gonna pick something that's not gonna be good. But apparently there's a Chinese-esque place nearby. So I think it's in walking distance. I tried to call them to order and I couldn't get through. They're supposed to close at 2.30 and it's like 1.06. So I gotta get going. This is it. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Now it makes sense why they couldn't answer the phone. It says right here that um, due to short staff, sometimes we can't answer the phone. <laughs> Gosh. So it's like hot. <laughs> it's not really that hot. Um, I think it's like 50 something degrees, but the sun is like directly in my face. But I want to show you guys. I don't think I um, showed you what the macarons look like. I hope they're okay. They've been in the hot car for a little while. But this is what the uh, macarons look like. Can you see it? There's like animal cookie, um, honey lavender, fruity pebbles is the yellow one, and then pistachio is the green one. And the Chinese food. So I didn't film that much in the restaurant because I don't like filming like in restaurants like that are that small like it's a pretty small place um and i felt like people like i was like right there and people were eating and i wouldn't want anyone to be like filming anywhere near me while i'm eating so interesting i don't know about this on the phone um so i ordered pineapple chicken and egg rolls and so the the egg rolls are in this little container and first time having chinese food in montana i don't know what this sauce is like why does it look like that what is in here i'm afraid of that sauce um the egg rolls are really tiny okay It's an egg roll. <laughs> it's, now what do I want, Boba? It's okay. Oh God, I'm gonna get the hiccups. There's this nice place that has Boba and like poke bowls, but it's on a busy corner. It's like getting there, it's like, Fight in traffic, so I don't know if I'm gonna go. This is a really heavy plate, okay. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see. I'm not gonna eat this in the car, it looks good though. Maybe I'll just eat a little bit, I'll try it. So, this is supposed to be like chicken. Uh, pineapple chicken with fried rice. That is not fried rice. That rice look white. She asked me if I wanted fried rice and I said, yeah. <laughs> that rice is pitiful. That rice is awful. Okay, I'm mad. I'm mad already. Okay, so the chicken's not bad. Not bad, but not good. Yeah. <laughs> That's not fried rice. And why is there like pink pieces of rice in here? I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Some of this rice is pink. Like it came from another dish or something like I don't know. 
No, I really want boba because this is not going to be great. I swear, one thing I absolutely hate is paying for food and it being nasty. Why did I say that? Why did I say that like that? Nasty. Why did I say that like that? Whatever. All right. See you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back in my room and it has been many, 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 many hours since the last time you guys saw me. Um, oh my gosh, that Chinese food I had earlier today, trash, grade A trash. And I was so upset, like, I don't like wasting food whatsoever. It was so bad. <laughs> Um, I just, man, oh man, oh man, and I don't even like giving places a second chance like that because that was $17 and I didn't even finish it. Like the rice was like not worthy of all the carbs that I would have to consume to eat that. And then the pineapple chicken was just all right. But it tasted like it was pre-made and had been sitting around for hours by the time it got to me. So that's not good. Um, I just came back from doing my final evaluations for the front desk stuff. And that was not fun. Um, having to tell somebody that you had to write, do not encourage to come back for another season is not a fun thing to do. Um... Obviously, you do what you have to do, and you do it, you know, in kindness. Um, but, like, having to tell somebody who actually wants to come back that I have to write that I don't encourage that is, is hard. Um, but there is, just has to be conversations about, you know, performance and then how you could, how one could improve and stuff. So those conversations just come with being a manager. Um, and I try to be as, as kind as I can because I do care about, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings or just like be hypercritical without giving some praise. And so I try to balance out, you know, praising people for things, but also like these are things we need to improve on. Um, but that's just not fun overall. <sighs> but yeah, um, I really hope you guys enjoy this this vlog. Um, it's it's a weird time. Any time, like talking to me at the time where I'm transitioning from one job to another, it's chaotic, um, and so that's why I'm just feeling kind of like all over the place right now. The next video you see from me, um, I'll be settled into my little transitional housing, and so I won't be nearly as like frantic. Um, I'm just hoping things will just fall into place nicely, you know? Um, yeah. Well, I'm not going to make this any longer than it necessarily has to be. So, why is the lighting changing? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm not going to make this video any longer than it needs to be. So, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this and, you know, like it if you did. Um, subscribe if you feel inclined to, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.